Hey guys, Michael here. Today I wanted to take a little bit of time to talk about sex positivity. We talk a lot about shame here in the Gay Men's Brotherhood and how it may show up with us and, and how it prevents connection. But one of the ways that I see this used as a weapon, either with ourselves or with others, is sex shaming. And this can really take so many different forms, but some of the more common ones that I've seen, either in this group or just out in the world, are um, slut shaming, right? Um, prude shaming, the, the other side of it. Uh, there's also a lot of bottom shaming, top shaming, bi shaming, uh, shaming those who, who identify as bi. And like I said, so many other ways we do it. Uh, which obviously is not very helpful now, is it? So I wanted to take some time today to talk about a topic that is very important to me. I identify as very sex positive and I try my hardest to kind of find that shame within myself and when I'm doing it to others. So, you know, I think I feel like I've done a lot of work in this area. And so I want to share with you what it means to be sex positive, uh, because as I've also noticed, there are a lot of misconceptions about what that term even means. And to be fair, it is a fairly new term. And, and I think uh, even the experts are still trying to identify exactly what it entails and what it doesn't. But at any rate, I will explain to you a little bit about what it means to me. So first we have to start with understanding that our beliefs about sex and sexuality were inherited from our societies, families, um, churches. I personally am Italian, uh, very Catholic. I went to the Catholic school system. I had a traditional Catholic upbringing, which taught me that sex was something that a husband and a wife do when they want to have a child and have a family. It was purely for procreation, purely between people of opposite genders. It held no room for anything else that I am, like gay. It also didn't really talk about sex as pleasure. Um, so I had to go up about and discover my own journey myself through coming out, through having sex with men, through developing my relationships with the gay community. And so, yes, I've done a lot of work on this and it's something that's very um, important to me. So now that we know that our sexual um, beliefs often come from places that might not be aligned with who we actually are, it's important to know that what sexual positivity is or sex positivity is, is realizing that a lot of these are conditioned beliefs and that we actually have a choice in whether we want to believe them or like I did, throw them off to the side. Okay, so let me talk a little bit about some misconceptions about what it means to be sex positive. So a lot of people that I've seen will think that being sex positive means that I or we as a, as a group are promoting having lots of sex with lots of different people or having more sex. It is not about that at all. It is actually about acknowledging that we each have our own unique sexual profile and aligning with what that is. So being sex positive means advocating for self-discovery. It means educating yourself. And above all, it means having personal choice in how you want to have sex um, as long as it is consensual. Okay, so another myth that I have seen out there when it comes to uh, sex positivity is that um, it makes a lot of moral or ethical distinctions that it's only for certain people. And the fact of the matter is, it's not. Uh, sex positivity recognizes that consensual sex is a healthy, pleasurable, enjoyable part of being a human. There is nothing wrong with it as long as it is consensual and, and uh, attempting to be safe. And that in fact, Sex is, is, is a very human need. It's a human desire we were wired for, we're, we're built for it. And again, it's not a one size fits all policy here. We get to discover what that means for us. We get to have our own unique relationship with sex and sexuality. Um, so there's a second one. The third misconception that I have seen a lot of in this here very group, okay? I've heard someone say this or seen someone say this. Sex positivity is just something that slutty gay guys came up with. 
And while I would love to take credit, thank you so much, I actually, or the slutty gay guy, did not come up with sex positivity. It actually has its roots in the uh, women's rights and sexual liberation in the 60s and has grown since then. At any rate, it covers more than just gay men. It covers all sexual identities, all sexual expressions, all gender expressions, all orientations. It, it celebrates sexual diversity, and that includes uh, different relationship structures, and it also, more importantly, advocates, as always, for an individual's right to choose. So you could choose to be uh, celibate, and if that is the choice that you want to make, then so be it. That is your choice, and nobody should be shamed for their choices, as long as they're they're making those choices in in from a place of education, uh, and of course, as always, consent. Okay, so that's my little spiel on sex positivity today. Um, go out there, learn about what this means, follow your desires, get yourself educated, allow yourself to safely and consensually discover your own sexual profile, your own sexual identity. And what that means for some people, you know, you might find that you're attracted or, or you desire things that are actually very pleasurable, but you've been denying them from yourself or you've been repressing them from yourself. Again, I see this a lot, especially with gay guys with, with bottom shaming or by shaming or kink shaming. Oh my God, that's another one. So much shaming for the kinks out there, uh, which is totally unfair and unreasonable in my opinion. So. Go out there, go discover what titillates you, what excites you, what arouses you, what floats your boat, what melts your butter, what floods your basement, and then go enjoy that in a way that is consensual and safe. Or not, because the choice is yours. Have a great week, everyone. Be well.